Okay, for the final installment, and in this is my, uh, really it's my dream model airplane trailer. A lot of help from other people, a lot of thinking, special help from Boston, the test pilot, Boston Parker, amazing kid, great electrician, okay? So, I found that when the sun started getting lower in the sky, the efficiency of my solar panel on top of the trailer lessened. And it made sense to me, I, when you see houses with a rays or with them on their roof, they have them on an angle pointed toward the sun. So, did a little research and I found a hard mounted solar panel. This is a regular solar panel like you would put on your house or uh, office building or whatever. Okay, and it is just mounted in there with a couple of servo arms. And this is the same type solar panels on the roof, but it's mounted solid with two layers of special glass. Makes it heavier. This weighs about 25 pounds. It was startling when I, when I picked the box up that it was in. It comes like the one on the top of the trailer. It comes with the connection and these these little connectors here and I had to buy a couple sets of these connectors to plug into them but I'll never undo these it's just these are already mounted these connectors are already mounted in here I had to get some to mount to, to just connect it I figured if I ever needed to lengthen or shorten this wire I could do it that way okay so I'm gonna bring it around here and then I thought I thought to myself self how am I going to lean this up against something. I come up with all kinds of ideas for stands. Then I wondered, do I actually have something already? So I got an airplane stand I already had made up. And I just put it like this. And that, that holds it wherever, whatever angle you want it at. And then I have my, uh, my cables velcroed back here. We're going to take this, we're going to go over here to the front of the trailer. I'm going to close this door right now. Okay, so, and we could run this over there. We're, I want, I'll fix it so people won't trip over it, of course. May end up on the other side of the trailer sometime, you never know. But how am I going to connect it? So what I did, I just used a couple of Dean's plugs. And I put an insulator plug on this side because now that the sun is on that solar panel, that's 18 volts live. So this is hot right here. Okay, and down here, I just put another Dean's plug in here. And it folds up underneath this lid. And now it's all connected. So now what we have is an auxiliary panel fastened to the one up above. And it basically just Y's in like this. That one Y's into the cable that comes down up above. So it all goes in. And consequently, it doubles the amperage to the battery. Before I plugged this in, it was 3.3 amps. Now we'll go look and see what it is now. All this electrical jargon throw you off. It's simple stuff. Okay. What I have now is 7 amps. You probably can't see it in here, but it's 7 amps. Yeah, you won't be able to get it. But there's, a, there's an ammeter right here. Might be able to. Right there. That's 7 amps going into that battery, and it's got that battery up to 13.5 volts. And uh, so, and these chargers are running. They're not charging anything, but they're running, and the fans are running. And we can uh, plug this in. And 
the thing this is going to do is let me control the sun better. Be able to aim the, set, the solar panel at the sun and get the full use out of my solar power. And I think it's pretty cool. I really haven't needed the 110 voltage in this at all. This has worked out really slick. And then it charges those big batteries really fast. I think it charges them faster than when you have them hooked into a power inverter on 110. So it, it's simple. The solar panel on the top was like $175. The solar panel, the rigid one I just showed you, was about $120. Get them on Amazon, free shipping if you have Prime. The control box the down there is like 20 bucks. Simple. A handful of wiring and a good battery. It's a matter of personal thought. Some people say deep cycle, some people say not. It's up to you what you do there. This is just a standard uh, Optima battery, which is a, is a gel cell battery. But it, it works really good. Really good. And I've worked it hard this summer. And it was a new battery. The other thing is it has screw connections on the other side. It makes it easier to plug into. So I will entertain any questions you have. And I, if I can't answer it, I'll make up an answer. No, I'd just be glad to answer you. Uh, super stoked about solar panel. It is the hit every place I go and it's amazing nobody else has tried it. It's just super. People have been using this uh, type of thing on their uh, campers and motorhomes for years. So, it's great stuff. The other step I could do if I really wanted to take it to the end, I could put one more battery in there and and have more battery than I'd ever use ever but this is going to be fine so Dick Gibson here this is my airplane hauling trailer I hope you enjoyed it thumbs up subscribe let me know what you think see you later